Good morning, everyone. It's Mr. Senator here with your morning reflection. And today, the church celebrates the feast of Our Lady of Fatima, which remembers the appearances of the Blessed Virgin Mary to three children in Portugal. Not only does Our Lady of Fatima play a big role in my faith from being Portuguese, but my grandmother was born on the exact same day, on May 13th, 1917, in Portugal. As well, Today is my youngest son's birthday. It's such a joy that my family continues to celebrate this holy occasion and birthdays together. As the story goes, there were three shepherd children, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta, who were out one day tending to their field and their sheep. It was on this day in 1917, around the middle of the day, that a flash of lightning drew their attention and they saw a figure in white appearing by the trees. The figure appeared as a lady, and when asked who she was, she reported that she was from heaven. The lady, in dazzling white, asked the children to pray the rosary for the conversion of sinners and an end to the war. She also told the children that they would suffer greatly for her cause. She reminded them that she would continue to return every month to the same place at the same time on the 13th of each month. No one seemed to believe the children when they shared whom they had seen, in fact, they were made fun of and accused of lying. Because Portugal at the time was very anti-religious, many people were in fear of what might actually happen. After apparitions on the 13th of every month, Our Lady made it possible for others to believe in which a large crowd experienced a phenomenon in the sky. It seemed as if the sun was spinning and moving towards the earth. Approximately 70,000 people were reported among the crowd that gathered around the children. For obvious reasons, they were astounded. The children reported seeing Jesus, Mary, and St. Joseph blessing the crowd. This day would be the last appearance for Francisco and Jacinta, who died a short three years later. Lucia survived as a nun until she passed away in 2015. In the Gospel, we hear the words of Jesus, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who abide in me will bear much fruit. When you think about it, this is literally all that Mary ever wanted for us as her children, is to be closer to her son. Whether it be like the servants at the wedding of Cana to do as he tells her, or to the children of Fatima, our Blessed Mother wants us all to be close to Jesus so we too can bear much fruit. And so today we pray the prayer known as the Fatima prayer. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima and St. Rock, pray for us. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Did you know that the Pope has asked the faithful to pray the Rosary daily in May for the end of the coronavirus? Join me today at the Chapel Google Classroom at around 1130 as we pray the rosary in honor of the feast, our feast day today. Students can visit their Chaplaincy Connect classrooms for the link to the chapel classroom. Staff who would like to participate will find a link to the chapel classroom on your email. Hope to see you there and have a great Thursday.